in previous videos, we've talked about how the Shape Builder tool allows you to draw several shapes and then combine them together, similar to what you see here in this quick tip on Adobe. So you can combine the different shapes together. But what I want to show you how to do is to create the negative space within a different shape. So for example, I have a couple logos that I found here online. I just pulled up a quick search of popular logos. And you can see that they've used this negative space concept several times. So in the Spotify logo here, you have the outside shape of a circle and the cutouts here. When in our target logo, we have outside shape of a circle, and then we have a, another donut kind of cut out in the center. And then in our YouTube logo, we have a rounded rectangle with the cutout of a triangle. So I'm going to show you some of these kind of concepts. We also have um, one that has text that's cut out, so the A in for the Adobe logo. So lots of different ideas that we can kind of use in this concept of using negative space in our logos. So I'm going to recreate some of these, not exactly, but just show you the idea and the concepts of how to do that with the shape builder tool. So really easy one, I'm going to start down here with something similar to the YouTube logo. I'm going to get my rectangle tool and actually I'm going to hold it down to get to my rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rounded rectangle. Again, doesn't matter the size, we're not making it exactly, just showing you the concept here. So I have my rounded rectangle. If yours is not filled in with a black color uh, fill, you can always click here and choose a different color. I'm going to stick with black for my, my first shape. Then I'm going to go in here and get my polygon tool so I can make a triangle. So triangle is a three-sided polygon. I can click anywhere. I can click inside of here, but I'm going to click over here just to show you the two shapes separately. So I'm going to click over here once. I want a three-sided polygon. doesn't matter your radius for right now. You can always change that later. Click OK. And now I have my triangle. Um, I'm going to use my black arrow, the selection tool, to click and drag my triangle on top of my rounded rectangle. When I do that, because they're both black, you can't really see it very well. So with it selected, I'm going to change the fill color to red just so that it's a little easier to see. Still on my selection tool, I'm going to rotate my triangle by hovering my mouse over the corner here, and then I'll be able to rotate the triangle. And you can also scale it up and get it to whatever size you want it. Now that I have it inside of my rectangle, I can select both the rectangle and the triangle by clicking and dragging a box around both of them. Or in here in my layers panel, I can make sure that both have those circles selected by clicking on the first one and then holding on the shift key and clicking on the second one. With both of them selected, now I can use that shape builder tool. And instead of just using it like normal by combining the two shapes, I'm going to hover my mouse into the shape that I want to cut out or create the negative space with. And holding down the option key or alt key on my keyboard, I'm going to click once. You'll see that when I hold down the option key, alt key, I have a negative sign or a minus sign next to my cursor. That's good. That shows it's going to cut it out. So if I click inside there, now you can see that my shape has been cut out of my rounded rectangle. So that's a really simple way to make something similar to the YouTube logo. If we go over here to the Adobe logo, you can do the exact same thing with text. So you grab your rectangle tool. I'm just doing a regular rectangle tool this time. And then I want to get uh, my text tool. And I'm going to go ahead and type in the letter A. Now I have my font really big here, so it fits inside here. You can grab something maybe a little bit thicker if you want to make it really stand out, like more negative space. So um, Impact is a very thick font that's on most computers. So I have that right there. Before you can actually cut it out, you have to convert it into a shape. So right now Illustrator knows that this is text and you can change the letter. Um, but I'm going to get my black arrow tool, right click on it and create outlines. And that's going to create it into a shape. You can see it's got like all the little outlines as if it is actually a shape and not editable text. I'm going to go ahead and move it over on top of my box again. This time I'm going to change the fill color again to red so you guys can see it. Select both the outside shape and the inside shape. Use that shape builder tool again. Hold down the alt key or option key and then just click once on the inside and you can see it cut it out. So that's very similar to how they, they created this Adobe logo and the YouTube logo. You can see that's a very similar pattern on a lot of popular logos. I hope that you enjoyed this quick tip and it helps you learn how to use the shape builder tool to use negative space in your logo designs. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and drop a line in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for alerts of when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy creating.